everybody, what's up, Jump here, and welcome back to our video, and today 1.13 has released. Um, and so, of course, that means I have to start my new 1.13 command block tutorial series. Um, and I'm going to be today talking about some format changes, um, things you should know if you are new to the series, um, and a couple of other things. Generally, I'm going to be probably linking people to this video um, on most episodes of my command block tutorial series, just so that you know a bit more about the series, and it'll kind of help you a bit to sort of understand some stuff, maybe. Um, and if you need help, it's also a good place because I do explain uh, some places you can get help. Anyways, so um, first off, of course, I want to thank my patron Shadow and Betcha Noir on Patreon. If you want to consider supporting me, you can go to patreon.com slash wavejump. Um, but anyways, I'm going to move straight on into the video here, and first off is the format of these videos. Um, so currently this is episode 0, the introductory episode, and what I would do in previous um, series usually, and I could actually head back to the old area to show you, is I would have each episode, and I would cover around three commands per episode. If I show you uh, the commands covered, you could see here about sort of what this would look like. Episode 1 was Tarox Cute and Title, Episode 2 is Scoreboard Trigger and Test 4, etc. And I would try and cover multiple commands per episode. The problem with that format is that some things have gotten way more complicated in 1.13. I almost said 1.12 there, it's crazy. Um, and the reason why things have gotten are much more complicated is, for example, if I look at the execute command, that command is way more difficult uh, to go ahead and understand, and just generally way larger in this version of Minecraft than in the previous version of Minecraft. And so, for that reason, for example, my first episode will probably just be the execute command um, and nothing else because I just won't have time to cover it in that episode without overwhelming people. On top of that, if you're looking for a specific command, I want to make sure that you could find it and it'll just make it easier overall. Anyways, moving on here. Um, in terms of series frequency, I'm going to be trying to make these episodes weekly. I uh, usually like to upload videos every Wednesday, and actually I just realized very conveniently this is a Wednesday um, that this uh, that 1.13 came out. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do it weekly. Uh, as I'm recording this, um, for the next few weeks I'll be quite busy, but I will still try and pre-record and get as much done as possible. Um, one thing I'm going to try and do is I'm going to make a video at some point where the comment section is just dedicated to help about commands. It'll be in the description below if it is created. And the reason I want to create this video is that um, it's going to be a video where if you need help with commands, um, people can go there to help you with commands. I could just have them all in one spot. Um, and on top of that, I'm going to want to go ahead and probably make a video where I cover a bunch of con mistakes. And I'll make multiple of these throughout the series because, um, like you, I am still learning a little bit of how the 1.13 command system works. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, on top of that, I want to go ahead and really quick cover how to set up a world with commands. So um, what you would do when you go to create new world um, is you go to creative mode, um, or and really, actually generally the, the mode doesn't matter, and name it whatever you want. Um, and I'm going to name it example world. Um, and then you're going to set whatever settings you want here, but the one you want on is allow cheats on. Cheats is honestly a really terrible mode or a really terrible uh, way to say it, but that'll go ahead and enable command blocks and all that. But um, another thing is if you want to specifically have a world made just for commands that's super flat, uh, you could go to your super flat uh, option, or super flat world type here and click customize. When you go to presets, you can select either the void or uh, redstone ready, and those are generally my favorites to go to. I'm going to create the void just to show you what that would look like, and currently I have cheats off, and I'll show you why I have cheats off in just a second. Which is that if you were somebody who created your world with cheats off, you may be wondering, okay, well, how do I get command blocks then? Because if I were to go slash give, or actually whatever it is now, if I were to try and run commands, you notice I can't run any commands with cheats. It just doesn't work, or any commands I would usually run out of a command block. So what I have to do is I have to go to escape, open to LAN, um, allow cheats on, and then click start. And now you notice if I were to say, press tab here, I could see all of the different commands again. I could do whatever I was going to do before, um, I, don't know if, I don't remember exactly what I was going to do, maybe slash give, and it works now. Um, I could do whatever I need, um, and it's all very easy. I could go back to game mode creative, no longer game mode C or game mode S or 1 or 0 or whatever. Um, it's game mode creative or game mode survival. Um, and yeah, that's a very simple quick tutorial on how to set up a world with commands. Uh, I just wanted to cover that in this video just in case. Um, I want to also quickly mention Discord. Um, so if you're familiar with Discord, it's this service where you could go ahead and join these sort of chat rooms um, where you could talk with people about different things, whether it's video games or um, or school or whatever the heck you want to talk about. 
And I actually have one dedicated just to um, my channel and, well, and my server. Uh, my server isn't currently out yet, but I will make a video when the next server is out. Um, and the reason why joining this Discord is helpful, A, you get sneak peeks of future videos and you, I could go ahead and get feedback from you. B, we could all chat, which is great. And C, if you need command help, you could go ahead and ask people for help on commands. And it's a very quick and direct way to get help that way. Um, on top of that, if you ever have something you want to share with me, some sort of thing you've created, Discord is a great way to share it with me, and I might feature it in a community spotlight. Um, anyways, uh, last looks like about three things, maybe? Um, I wanted to go ahead and mention one thing I did in my previous series for a bit was the comment of the day. And I'm considering bringing that back. Uh, I just need good comments, and I need to remember to do it. So comment of the day may return. It's basically a feature one person's comment at the beginning of every video. Um, and in terms of background music, I want to get all of your feedback on that. So do you think I should put background music uh, in these videos, or do you think I should keep it blank? Uh, I want to know this. Um, lastly, again, I wanted to thank Betanoir on Patreon, one more, or Betanoir and Shatter on Patreon one more time for supporting me. And if you want to consider supporting me, even with a dollar a month, uh, you can at patreon.com slash wavejump. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have a good, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be able to help you with commands and stuff. So... Thanks for watching. Bye.